1950s England and being gay is illegal and will kill any political career. So Jeremy Thorpe is deep in the closet. But in 1960, Jeremy meets Scott. Scott loses his job and Jeremy takes him in and they become lovers. Scott is lazy, a liar, and mentally unstable, but he's hot, so Jeremy keeps him around, even sending love letters back and forth. When Scott runs out of money and job prospects, he starts blackmailing Jeremy, threatening to show the love letters. Jeremy can't lose everything he's built, so he plans to murder Scott. He talks to his friend who calls a carpet salesman who enlists a fruit machine salesman who knows an airline pilot who will do the job for 10,000 pounds. The pilot finds Scott and tells him he was hired to protect him from a Canadian hitman. Scott believes him, grabs his dog and gets in the car. In the middle of nowhere, the pilot pulls over, gets out of the car, shoots the dog and aims at Scott, but the gun doesn't fire and Scott escapes. The murder plot and the love letters get out and Jeremy resigns as leader of the Liberals and a trial begins. But he's white and powerful, so he's acquitted of all charges, writes a book and lives in comfort until his death in 2014.